Hello, this is Ben Hollifield, coming to you with a short demo of the Postmaster email routing application for ServiceNow. Now, if you're a current ServiceNow customer and you've dealt with inbound email actions, you know what a pain they can sometimes be. Uh, if you have specialized requirements like routing certain emails to certain groups, um, creating different types of tasks via email, um, populating certain values on forms based on email contents, it can be pretty tricky. And if you ever do get it right and you need to change it in the future, then you have to go back and do that again in code and push it through the whole dev test promotion process to get it into production. What Postmaster is attempting to do is to short circuit that whole process and um, sort of supercharge your inbound email actions. Um, so let me show you how it works. If you don't have Postmaster yet, you can come and get it on share.servicenow.com. It's available for free. Just search for it on share, download it. It's a standard update set. So you can preview and commit it to your um, instance and it'll be there. So I already have the update set installed on my system. So I can just go over here and search for Postmaster. And I'll see a new module in my left nav for email routing rules. Now what's happening in the background is Postmaster is um, actually deactivating your existing inbound actions. And if you have several custom ones, you may need to deactivate those yourself. But it's replacing those with a single inbound action that just calls back to this routing rules table to, to learn how to process any given email. Now let's go ahead and create one. Email routing rules. So let's see, um, remember the heart bleed virus. That was pretty big for a while there. Say we're getting so many emails about this Heartbleed virus that we want to create a rule that will automatically route this to the appropriate assignment group um, so that we don't have to handle, handle manual um, assignment for those. So first of all, let's go into incident. We can tell it where to send the email subject and email body to. Typically, those are short description and additional comments, but you can choose any field on the form if you want to do it differently. Email condition, this lists every um, attribute of the email table in ServiceNow. So these are all the things that are available when an email comes into the system. You can go look at your mailboxes to see what's available there um, and see what those look like. But in this case, we want to say if the body contains Heartbleed, let's go ahead and um, process this accordingly. Um, so it is active. We can set an order on these. These orders work just like they do on inbound actions. Um, when an email comes in, it's going to go through the orders 10, 20, 30, 40 of all the rules here. And the first one that matches, that's the one it's going to apply. And finally, a template to apply. Um, this is very powerful. This uses the same template technology that's in service now already. And you can create a template to auto-populate fields on the form, um, like the assignment group, the categorization, priority, anything you want. In this case, I already have one created for Heartbleed email, so I can use that. And so now, if we have a one, an incident an email comes in with a body that contains Heartbleed, it's going to create an incident and apply this template, which again is just a standard template with assignment group, category, priority set. Easy as that. So let's create another one. Another example, um, let's say we want to not create an incident, but we want to create a uh, catalog request. This was challenging um, in inbound actions, but it's actually pretty easy using Postmaster. So this time we're creating an SC request item. We'll do email subject to embody to the same. Let's say our condition is if the subject contains iPhone. If that happens, we'll do an order of 20, then we don't want to apply a template, but we do want to order a catalog item. This field appears whenever you choose SC request or SC request item. And that item is going to be iPhone. I wish it were that easy to order iPhone at ServiceNow. Um, but what this is actually going to do is automatically spin up a catalog item request for the person that sent the email in for an iPhone. So we'll save that. And then one more, probably the most typical request that we get for inbound actions is if you have relay email set up in your environment so that all the emails coming into ServiceNow maintain their their, their original to address. Um, you may have a to address of something like database group at customer.com. And if that's the case, what you might want to do is create an incident with short description and comments. And you want to say to route this if the to address is database group at customer.com, then route this to the database group. Um, in our case, I don't have relay set up on my instance, so I'm going to have to hack it and just do uh, my base instance here. It be how field at servicenow.com. But imagine that's a, a specific email that goes to your database group. Make that order of 30. And in this case, we have another template that just um, sets the assignment group to database and category to database. We can look at that. So now, all of our routing rules are in place. Um, these should handle these three discrete cases of emails coming in. So let's test them out. Let's open up a new email here. 
let's do to my instance. Let's say the subject is I have heart bleed for the heart bleed virus. And we'll send that from my Gmail address just to see how that behaves because it shouldn't be able to match a user to that. Let's do again one to say our database group. We'll say this is a database reset. And this should get routed straight to an incident. Imagine again that this is a database specific email address. In this case, it's just the email address to my instance. But use your imagination. And then finally, we'll pretend I'm a, uh, a bigwig CIO here and I'm sending in a request for a new iPhone. So now we've created three different emails, all going to the same instance, but they're all slightly different and should be handled slightly differently. So now these are sort of um, making their way through the interwebs, working their way into our instance, and it may take a while for them to get there. But once they do, we'll go ahead and try to kick off a manual email check, and we'll see if they're there yet. Once they do, they should get routed appropriately based on our email rules. So we have processed three emails. So first, let's go look at the request table. Look at our SE request table. We'll see that we have a new request for Ben Hollifield. Let's see, this is a short description of I need a new iPhone has a please send me a new phone ASAP, the body of our email, and then it's actually processing the request for an Apple iPhone. Very nice. Now if you look at our incident table, we should have two new incidents there as well. Um, they're both from guests because they were both sent from my Gmail account, which doesn't actually match a user in the system. But here's one that is a database reset email. It's gone to our database group, so database category, and if you look down here, we'll see the body of our email down here in the activity log. Similarly, if we look up here at this other one assigned to the software group, this should be our Heartbleed virus email. Yep, there's I have Heartbleed. Here's the body of our email. And it's been assigned to the appropriate group. And it's um, now uh, automatically in that queue without anyone having to do any sort of manual assignment on our end. So you can see how quick and easy it is to change these rules. Now, assuming we're in production, I could go back to Postmaster and add new rules as new groups come on board, new needs arise. Um, new things like the Heartbleed virus come up and we need to auto route tickets that we're getting in mass. Uh, so it's a huge time saver. Um, it does eliminate a lot of the fat fingering sort of errors that can occur when you're working in code and inbound actions. Um, so we have a number of customers using this that are uh, very satisfied and it'll, um, it'll meet most needs you can find for inbound email routing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, otherwise, I hope you find the app useful. Thank you.